they kind of set the bait there. Burt was mid-match, just kind of toying with him, like you said. Then they have two players in the school. You saw a lot of the players really rotate. So it's kind of like a patience game. Now some shots are going down. So maybe they're, they're just trying to just really bait the other team to try to rotate around. But Zurich's going to be able to pick up first blood. That is going to be on Knight with a nice little grenade there. 3v4 situations from shots going down mid-map. But I think that was just Burt just firing. Going to push into the school. Going to take out one player. But then he's going to get traded. Michael K picking up by lockers. 3v2 situation, now oh, Feet game. is going to go down, Gravity Holler picking that up, so is this going to be possible? That's no, game. it is not. Gravity takes this series, making the comeback. Who would have thought, man? Always... Down 2-0, to zero. I always have faith. <laughs> it's not even true, but I actually did, I did predict them to win the first map, completely failed on that prediction, took it back halfway through. Burial, they were in an incredible lead, it was like, what, 2-0, to zero. they were absolutely dominant in the hard point then went to win the search and destroy six to three now it's over man burial just lost it in a very surprising wow. matter wow yeah that's that's unfortunate uh for burial guys if you're just tuning in burial took a 2-0 lead in this game and uh right now i mean i'm, I'm shocked I'm, I'm literally shocked if they did they still have a chance to win this no no no, not, no it's, it's, not. it's game they're just kind of sitting here shooting each other yeah, I mean, uh, realistically, I, I'm, 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 wow, up 2-0, and Gravity pulls the comeback, takes the win. I mean, what did you think about that round five, or that round 11, game five, and how they had to end that, Dirk? Man, man, oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Could you repeat the question? Kind of got like, sidetracked. I was just kind of like mind blown. That was, no, that was do, you think, do you think the, the, the ending of that round 11 had anything to do with that loss? Um, it could. I mean, it's always really demoralizing when you lose two maps in a row. I mean, we could say that when Burreal went, they, from the start, they blew them out in the hard point. Search and Store is pretty close, split 6-3. But I mean, once they went on to that map 3 and 4, the Ascend CTF and Biolab uplink, Gravity absolutely dominated the uplink. First half was 6-1, to one, then by the end of the game, it was 9-5 to five in favor of Gravity. And really, those last points that came in from that Boreal squad, they were just kind of like little scrap ones at the end when the, they just kind of little brownie points, people call it. Just like a little, here, have these. Like it doesn't mean anything to the game. Search and Destroy in Detroit though, really just a back and forth game and Gravity able to come out on top. I mean, it all starts with the first blood. That's really what it is in Search and Destroy and that is what they were able to do, especially in that last round. Uh, Search got that nade and then that's when everything just kind of started going wrong for Boreal. But, I mean, a really impressive comeback by Gravity. Uh, able to win the last map off host when they lost the pass. The first yeah. two maps when they were off host as well. Confidence, decimization, Pharaoh, Leon. Thank you guys so much for the follow. Hit that follow button. Don't go anywhere. Please stick around. We're almost at 120 viewers. Sticky grips coming your way for your Xbox One, PS4 controller, whatever you want. Clayton's going to be joining us right now. Gravity's coming on for a brief interview, guys. Going to run a quick commercial break. Please tweet out the
We're heading right back into the interview with Gravity right now. But first, Yanni Rocks, Jake, Save Us, Holler TV, Mania, Steezy. Thank you guys so much for the follow. We're joined right now by the by the Gravity Captain, I believe, and the one and only Clayton doing the interviewing right now. Clayton, what's going on, my man? What's up, guys? What a what a fun show match. Um, definitely haven't seen a, a first of five. Um, I don't think I've ever seen one in my time being here, but uh, it was still cool. Nonetheless, we got a um, you know kind of shorter show match, so we'll get some good interview questions in here tonight. Uh, we're joined by uh, Zachary, the team captain. I am. We got the team captain here. And uh, so starting off, man, tell us a little bit about your team. How long have you guys been uh, playing together? Uh, what's your cohesion like uh, and as far as uh, advanced warfare goes? Well, we kind of did the qualifier. We didn't do the qualifier with Holler. We we had to make a roster change because our fourth did not want to come. So we had to email MLG and get shit uh, stuff sorted out. And that <laughs> that was a uh, that took a while. So we we ended up picking Holler up, I think, last week. And we've probably scrimmed maybe ten hours total as a team. Wow, that's it. So just as yeah. a full team. What about prior to this guy? Um. Another 10 hours, probably, if that. Wow. wow. And, uh, you know, it, it, we didn't see any of that today. You guys look pretty good as a squad. Coming in, down two games, and then you win two in a row. Tell me, though, before you start your, your win streak, you're down, you're down two. What, uh, what's going through your mind? How are you guys preparing to, mi to make a comeback? Um, well, we know we suck at Hardpoint, so, <laughs> and it was their host, so we, we pretty much... We knew we were gonna, I'm, I'm from Ohio, I'm from actually from like 10 minutes from the venue for regionals. I'm from Ohio, but I was the only three bar, which is, it was hard to play on that host. But right. we knew we were gonna lose the hard point. Michael, I'm sorry for your late, by the way, because Michael was at hockey. So um, hey, we knew we were gonna lose that. Fam. Michael, Michael was wasn't warmed up, uh, so he had a bad map, and then we ended up getting host the next two respawns, which is kind of easy on our host. And then fifth map, uh, we've never yeah. played SMD as a team. I don't know. You know you, you, you point that out. You did lose two on um, on on their host. Then you come back, win two on your host. Then we're back on their host for this last S and D going down to round five. And I predicted this in the chat. I told everybody that you were going to come back and it was going to be a six five um, game game in, in this S and D. And that's exactly what happened. Do you think the um, the intermission between the two sets of uh, of games helped you guys? Were you able to game plan for your last? Um, map did that extra few seconds kind of help you uh, move that into the win column for tonight? Um, we pretty much did the same thing we were gonna do from the start because we knew they were gonna push B. So we pretty much just we had we had mystery cover and we just stacked B and just they waited way too long to push the site and they kind of they pretty much screwed themselves over by waiting to the last 20 seconds and we just ended up cleaning up the kills. So right now these two casters here talked a little bit about. Um, uh, I guess a regional going on uh, I in your area, and uh, they were curious to know if you thought that this match would have played out differently over land. Do you feel like you would have took it faster, or do you think maybe you would have lost? I mean, w what's your feeling on um, that? Um, uh, I think we would have, we probably would have at least three won them because it wouldn't have been host dependent, and our teammate might have had a chance to warm up. Two of our teammates were kind of last minute, and I don't think we had really had a chance to. We warm up because he wasn't on all day today. I was on a little bit today, so it, we got a warm up, and I think we could have taken the hard point. I mean, we got some kills, but Michael just didn't have a great game because he wasn't on at all today, and he right. ended up he ended up performing better, obviously, in the next two series. He had a, he had last three series he had really good maps, so. Right. So moving forward, what are the plans for your squad? Are you guys? What do you guys got coming up? And uh, what are you guys gonna do pre prepare for uh, for more show matches and, and land matches and stuff like that? Well, Holler, we're we're using Gravity as our as our org for regionals, and Holler actually has his own squad under Gravity. We're just we were kind of like it's kind of like a pickup squad going to regionals because okay. we didn't think we were gonna qualify, but we ended up qualifying the second day. We we should have qualified the first day, but we lost fifth map S and D. So we qualified the second day, and we ended up playing. We're in, I think we have like the second to last seed, so we're playing Phase Red. So. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it, how it works out at regionals, <laughs> but we're, I think we're going to try to scrim as much as possible in the next two or three days, get as much time in as possible. I think we're going right. to scrim actually after I'm done with this interview. So <laughs> there you go. Well, to wrap up things, we do this every uh, every show match. We're going to give away the uh, game gun, the PA game gun. Uh, you as the captain. Um, who was the player today that uh, that you couldn't have done this without? Where the and you game can say yourself. Anyway. 
<laughs> you can't say yourself, but you got to say somebody. We know it's a team sport. Every single caster here mm -hmm. and every single audience member knows this is a team sport and you guys definitely need each other uh, to go out there and win matches. But who today stood out to, in, in your mind? <laughs> I would love to say myself, but I would probably have to say Exerts because he did, he dropped like 12 kills at SMD, so there was a round, there was a, they were in like a, a 2v3 and they ended up clutching up with 20 seconds left, so I'd probably have to give it to Exerts. Well, there you go, game gun going to Exerts and uh, very well deserving, definitely, um, you know, on the SMDs, those are the very important ones to win. Um, we'll give you the floor for a few seconds here if you got anybody to shout out, organization, team members, uh, team owners, sponsors, anything like that, got the floor, buddy. Um, I guess shout out to Gravity for helping us with regionals and shout out to my squad for just being sweet. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Shout out to the squad for being sweet. Well, definitely thank you so much for joining us. We definitely appreciate that. And uh, big thanks to all of the PA fans watching tonight. You guys are awesome and we appreciate all the support you guys give us. These two casters right here. Um, as John likes to put it, goats in the community. That's uh, the, one of my favorite sayings over here at PA. And uh, John, it means they're trash because goats eat trash. <laughs> that's, that's right. You guys clean it up the community from trash. That's how I like to see it. Oh, because I'm uh, Mexican. <laughs> John putting all of this together, doing so much work behind the scenes, and all of the PA staff that you guys don't see. Shout out to all of you guys. You guys are awesome. John, what are we doing? Are we done? Giveaway. We're, we're good. Unfortunately, didn't hit the 120 for giveaway, but a quick shout-out to the sponsors for make, making this happen. Uh, Honey Badger, Team Razor. Make sure you check them out. We're going to be doing a monthly Team Razor show match Friday nights once a month. More details coming pretty soon. If you're wondering what's going on and what we do, guys, we like to bring amateur teams on in the community you know, top AM teams in the community. Bring them onto our show. Give them a little something to uh, to shine about. You know, show off their skills. These players uh, sometimes don't get the recognition that they'd like in this community, and we like to change that. And uh, Pappy, seriously, man, I hope uh, I hope one of these days I see you on one of these uh, you know top orgs as a as a pro player. I'm pretty sure that's the objective across the board uh, as an individual, at least I would say. And that's something that we do here at PA. Uh, and have been doing for a while. You know, 265 show matches going strong, guys. And we're back again Wednesday night with some ladies. So uh, appreciate all the support across the board. Make sure you're heading to the website, pa-gaming.net. Putrid, Jamie, Dirk going to be heading to regionals. Final list from the cast off. Dirk, he's going to need all the support you guys can give him. So make sure you're showing him some, some love. His Twitter's right there, right below his beautiful face. Almost fell off his chair but he caught himself <laughs> yeah i was hoping you guys didn't see that i was hoping it was like a little casual like scoot back but uh we're done we're out of here any uh any last words peter dirk hashtag razor hashtag honey badger hashtag follow them at team razor and at honey badger es and for me um i don't really know shout out to pa everybody <laughs> i'm gonna do my do my best to put on the best performance I can at regionals for everybody at home and stuff like that. So um, I'm, I'm really excited. For